So even if the guy's a total dud, <laughs> I'm gonna have a good time. You know, I'm gonna still have beer or wine that I like. <laughs> So my goal right now is to be wildly unavailable when <laughs> this man does try to, you know, you gotta play a game, it's stupid. I, I thought you were gonna say wildly available and I was about to be like, oh my gosh, yes, put yourself out there, girl. And I love that you were just like 180 on me and you're like wildly unavailable. Like, <laughs> I literally just got home. Do I look okay? I'm gonna get the dry ball. What's up, girl? Sorry, okay. yeah, that's me. Jessica's joining us season three of the Shotgun Comedy season for Driver's Meg. What do you do in California? I'm an actor. Awesome. And all actors need a job to pay their bills. Yes. So I work at a restaurant. I'm a server and a bartender. Who is the most famous person that has come into your restaurant? <gasps> How about the most famous person I served? Yes. Was Angelina Jolie. <gasps> Can I, can I tell you what she said to me? Yeah, you better. Okay, you better. So she only wanted a water, but one of her guests asked for an Arnold Palmer. So I bring it to the table, yes. and Angelina Jolie looks at me, and she says, is that just lemonade and iced tea? And I said, yes, it is. And she goes, I'll have one, too. I enlightened her. You were <laughs> her whole life is better now that she's seen this you magical. You introduced her to the Arnold Palmer. <laughs> you changed Angelina's life. <laughs> worst date you've ever had in Los Angeles. Ooh. The worst date I went on was recently. Mm -hmm. And this guy, I told him I was having dinner by myself. And I was like, come and have a drink with me. This guy next to us starts kind of picking up on both of us. Like three sounds that. Kind of. So hey. then finally I tell the man who I've met, this guy is hijacking your date. But then he like joins us and we all kind of end up hanging out together. The guy ended up confessing later that he knew the other, that it was like a plant, that it was kind of a- Oh my God, that's so creepy. That's like, that's like where you end up on a milk curtain kind of scenario. Right? Like that's real creepy. You can be the LGBT all good in the hood. Yeah. I could never date someone who was bisexual. I, like, like girls already gotta watch out for other girls. I don't need to be watching out for other guys now. Like, I, don't, I don't need both. I don't need both problems in my life. Like, there are too many, too many ladies problems. out there that don't respect the boundaries. Yeah. I, don't, I don't need now like Tina and Tim. I don't need both. No, no. Good for you that you're bi, but bye. Not bye, bye. Bye, yeah, bye, bye. <laughs> Okay, so on the show we play a game called Crash Course Question Round. Ooh. I'm gonna ask you a rapid fire bunch of questions and just answer them as fast as you can. Top of my Don't head. Don't feel like you have to think about it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Say one nice thing about Donald Trump. He fathered Ivanka Trump. Favorite sexual position? Oh. It depends on the man. <laughs> I respect that answer. On a scale of one to ten, ten being the best, one being the worst. Okay. How would you rate my driving? Six. <laughs> okay, for guys, do you prefer boxers or briefs? Ooh, briefs. No, boxers. I can't believe I said that. Right. <laughs> Boxer briefs. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today uh -huh. on this episode of Drivers Mag. Heck yeah, you guys! Third season, the shotgun comedy season. Miss Jessica, bring in the fun. Tune in next week. We're gonna have an all new episode for you guys. And until then, we're out. Bye. See ya.